Hey guys, hope you're having a great Monday. Happy Monday to every single one of you guys. All right, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, subscribe to the to the channel if you like the vibes here. All right, guys, Um, if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information will be found there. Okay, guys, Um, I've been picking up, like, if you guys have some sort of, like, bad energy on you, you shake that shit off, okay, because only good energies are coming in, okay? Aquarius energy showing up in the bottom of the deck, this is you guys. All right, so Aquarius. Aquarius, this is going to be a reading for you guys. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. All right, let's see. What do we got for you guys? What does Spirit want you guys to know? Guys, Spirit guides, like the imprecise messages for my Aquas. What's in the current energy? What's in the current energy for my Aquas? All right, so Three of Swords. Some of you could be heartbroken, or this could be somebody in your energy. All right, Three of Swords. What's this Three of Swords? What's this Three of Swords? Somebody could have put you in a third-party situation, okay? But at the end of the day, yeah, you're coming out victorious. Six of Wands, okay? Somebody wanted to get attention here, okay? And they could have put you in a third-party situation, all right, for some of you. But you're being victorious. You're moving on with your life, okay? Some of you could be in the public eye, okay, with the Six of Wands. So you could use your voice for something, okay, with the Six of Wands, all right? Um, you're very passionate here. You're going to have victory, all right, for some of you here, somebody here is heartbroken because you're in the public eye or you're getting attention from other people. All right, what is this three of swords with the six of wands? All right, some of you are high priestess. Okay, so this came out. This is you guys knowing. Some of you could be in the public eye doing tarot or something like that. Okay, with the high priestess showing up. But you guys have some sort of knowledge or you have some sort of like... um um akashic records kind of like you have knowledge of the occult or something like that you know how to manifest things okay you're going to be in victory here you guys are going to be victorious after this heartbreak for some of you you had to go through a heartbreak in order for this to be a catalyst for your growth and become this spiritual leader or become this person that's in victory all right so what's the blockages here what are the challenges for my aquas what are the challenges for my aquas All right, the Ace of Wands. Okay, so a new passion of beginning. Okay, what's the Ace of Wands here under a blockage? All right, for some of you, the blockage is you smoke or you procrastinate a lot when you have good things coming in. You have a new endeavor, you have a new passion of beginning that's starting here, but this is a blockage of some sort. What is this Ace of Wands and the blockage or the challenge here? balancing things out for some of you here you have a lot on your plate you're trying to balance things out at this time okay you could be emotionally tied to someone maybe a capricorn for some of you here but this two of pentacles is like juggling for some of you you have money coming in money coming out so you're investing in your own thing okay so let's say for example you have um maybe you're not getting a loan or something like that because it's a blockage but there's a passion and new beginning and you're gonna have to pay out out of you're gonna have to pay out for it for it or something like that okay this is like for example, um, I never got a loan whenever I started my business, okay? So I just started paying everything off, like everything while I was I was investing in myself. While I was making money, I was investing it in myself, and that's how I was able to open up my business, all right? So some of you, that could be the blockage. You don't know how to do that, or you're balancing things out here, okay? Or this is somebody here that could be juggling you. Let's clarify. What's this, Cap what's this um, two of uh, pentacles, Capricorn energy with the ace of wands? Who's in this energy? All right, the lovers. Okay, so a choice. Somebody is definitely, um, this is under the blockage here. Somebody could be going through it because they chose wrong. We've already established that. Okay, we're going to move on from that shit. All right, but that's the blockage. They chose wrong and they're juggling right now or they could be being juggled. But you're over here victorious. I'm going to go ahead and mention it because it's in the blockage. All right, for some of you, this person chose wrong. All right, and now they all, all they do is think about you sexually or think about you in every single way they could. All right, and the reason why I'm saying that is because this started with the Three of Swords. Okay, so you could have been placed in a third party situation and this could have been some blockage. But however, because of all this shit that you went through with this person and stuff like that, you were able to gain some sort of knowledge or you were able to gain some sort of like um, strength within, okay, and some sort of clarity that you could turn that shit into a book. You could go ahead online. You could go ahead and 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 inform people of the things that you've gone through so that they don't have to go through it, okay? So some of you could be motivational speakers or being asked to be motivational speakers, okay? What's in the foundation here? Actually, no. What's the what's the lovers? 
Gemini energy for some of you. You're dealing with a Gemini. I got Priestess, the High Priestess, this Cancer, Pisces, more Pisces to me. All right, the Six of Wands is Leo energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You got um, Capricorn and Gemini. So, what's this lovers? What's the lovers? Nine of Swords. All right, this person can sleep. They're thinking about you at night. Okay, for some of you, you're having dreams about this person is because they can't stop thinking about you. Okay, this is like angsty. For some of you here, you could be like, when am I going to meet my person? When am I going to meet my person when the universe is ready? Okay, when you've learned all your lessons, that's when you're going to meet your person. Smash the like button, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button, please. Um, You got here 69. So 69 could be significant, not in a sexual way. You got here 12. So 12, 69. Okay, could be significant. 12 6, December 6 could be significant. That would be what? Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. All right, 96 could be significant. 92 could be significant. 91 could be significant. So those are years. Okay, what's in the foundation for my aquas? In the foundation, you're self made. All right, you're single, ready to mingle if it comes through, but really you're just worried about your pentacles at this time, all right? And you could only do this when you were alone, all right? For some of you, you guys are too loyal, okay? Or you guys are too, when you're in a relationship, you give yourself 150% and it avoid it stops you from your growth, okay? So for some of you, your spirit guides separated you guys so that you could have your own growth, so that you could be self-made, so that nobody could come in and tell you, hey, I you got here because of me. No, you got here because of you by yourself. All right, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. What's this Nine of Pentacles? Some of you could be models, or you guys are being asked to be in the public eye or something like that in a movie or something like that. You guys are rising stars, okay, with this Nine of Pentacles. Some of you are eating healthy here, working out, looking great. Okay, very self-sufficient, no longer codependent, all right, because at one point you were codependent and that's the lesson. Everybody at one point is codependent. A baby's codependent on the mother. The mother's codependent on the grandmother. The grandmother, that. Okay, so the mother's codependent on the father and it's, it's, a, it's a domino effect, okay? So for some of you, you guys were codependent, yes, but now you're independent, all right, and nobody could fuck with you because nobody could do it like you. Nine of Pentacles self-made what's this nine of pentacles in the foundation and this is the foundation where you're growing from guys i have my cuban coffee sorry <laughs> what's the nine of pentacles what's the nine of pentacles you got the hangman you're starting to see things from a different perspective they try to sacrifice you but you come out winning okay for some of you there is a lot of delays pisces energy with the hangman there is a lot of delays but you started seeing things from a different perspective what more give me one more nine of pentacles hangman there is some sort of delay, but you went through it, okay, on your own. You cut yourself loose. All right, for some of you here, look at this person hanging upside down and comfortable. All right, so some of you needed to get out of your comfort zone, and that's how you became this Nine of Pentacles. That's how you became self-sufficient or very confident in yourself. Okay, what is this? Give me one more. Ten of Swords. Yeah, you went through an ending. That ending was necessary. Okay, you were backstabbed. You were betrayed. You were you went through the ringer and back. Okay, you were you had all the knives by everybody. It could be family. It could be anybody. Your lover. Your the person that chose wrong. The person anybody that didn't believe in you. Those are those swords. Okay, and for some of you, those swords were br brought to you by yourself. Okay, because you could self sabotage yourself. Okay, so something had to end and you had to put something to an end in order for you to have this new beginning. And this new beginning, you did it by yourself. Congratulations. All right, so smash the like button. I was gonna clap for you guys. All right, so I'm still gonna clap for you guys. All right, what happened in the recent past? Uh, what happened in the recent past? Let me get two cards for the recent past for it. All right, the devil, Capricorn energy. Somebody had addiction. Some of you are leaving addictions behind. Okay, this is somebody who is very obsessed. You've had somebody that's obsessed over you, that's been watching you. If you guys are in the public eye, they're going to be watching you. Okay, so the devil energy. All right, for some of you, you guys are dealing with an industry or something. Be careful with contracts. What's the devil? What's the devil in the recent past? All right, for some of you, you guys were in a relationship that was so toxic. And it was based on greed, materialism, and stuff like that. Okay, sexual lust. But you guys are letting go of that. That's in the recent past. So what's this devil in the recent past? Seven of uh, Pentacles. See, you have been patiently waiting. For some of you, you're patiently waiting on a Capricorn. 
okay, to reach out to you. Or a Capricorn's been patiently waiting on you and you guys are not going to reach out because they're the devil, okay, because they're obsessive, All right? You're starting to see the fruits of your labor or this Capricorn is, okay, for some of you, this could be somebody who's very toxic, somebody who you were in a relationship with, okay, they're starting to see that they missed out, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles and you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. You keep on doing what you've been doing. Seven of Pentacles, all right, there's fruit there. All right, what's the Seven of Pentacles? Just clarify the Seven of Pentacles. All right, the Three of Pentacles. So now they want to collaborate with you. For some of you, you needed to network and you needed to work with other people. And that was pretty hard for you, but you got out of your comfort zone and you did it. Okay, now you're about to start seeing the fruits of your labor. Everything that you've been putting in, all the hard work that you've been putting in, you're going to get in return, guys. Just have faith. 73 could be significant. 37 could be significant. Okay, the number 15, 1, 5 could be significant. Um, But anywho, what's on your mind? What are you guys thinking about? What's Aquarius thinking about at this time? All right, so you got the Queen of Wands. You're very confident, all right? Self-sufficient. You guys are very determined. You guys are looking good, okay? You guys are ready to date at this time as well with the Queen of Wands showing up there. You guys could be manifesting, okay? What is the Queen of Wands? Wear yellow, wear more yellow, okay? That brings joy and vitality into your life. That's also Ochung. Ochung is the goddess of love. So if you guys are calling in your soulmate and you guys are wanting to manifest love and abundance into your life, wear the color yellow, all right? Buy some sunflowers, five sunflowers flowers and put it for Ochun. Okay, so Ochun, O-S-H-U-N or O-C-H-U-N. Okay, you guys can look her up. Goddess of love. All right, Ochun in the Yoruba religion. All right, what's this queen of wands here on your mind? What's this queen of wands here on your mind? All right, so five of pentacles in the reverse, guys. So everything that you've lost, you're about to regain. Okay, so they left you out in the cold, but look at you now. You're shining. They left you out in the cold, but look at them coming back all fucking broke, broken with broken legs and fucking bells here to let people know that they're sick and shit like that. Okay, so five of pentacles in the reverse. You're about to regain everything that you've lost, guys. All right, what's this five of pentacles with the queen of wands? Five of pentacles in the reverse. All right, yeah, bringing balance and harmony into a situation. Sagittarius energy. Okay, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. That's coming out heavy in this reading. Okay, but Sagittarius um, energy, it could be around December. Okay, so Sagittarius, November 22nd to December 21st. Those dates, those dates could be significant. Okay, for some of you. Right, but yeah, you're an earth angel here. You guys are an earth angel and you guys are sexy doing it, okay? You guys are balancing, bringing balance and harmony into a situation, all right? A home dynamic. For some of you, this five of pentacles, I'm also getting like, like community. So you guys could be giving back to your community here, okay? With whatever it is that you do, all right? But you're so peaceful or you're humanitarian or you're bringing love and harmony into a situation, okay? So, sorry about that, guys. Messy. What's this temperance? What's the temperance? All right, the King of Cups. You guys are mature. All right, you guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but emotional uh, maturity here. For some of you here, this is your guardian angels. Your guardian angels, 1313 on, uh, 1333 on the time.